You're going to need to pay attention to which side the pivot ball goes in because they are basically directional and they are being put in in different ways. So this would be the top one. That, that one will connect to the chassis panhard link area. And this one will go on the axle. So they're asking you to put this one in on the inside of the, the curve. And this one goes in on the outside of the curve. Now these are fairly difficult to screw in and they are asking to put grease on. But I'm going to show you a bit of a different way using a drill. That is if you have a drill. And a screwdriver that fits into the shaft so it has to be like three millimeter shaft all right so that means one side is in Now obviously we can't put this side into the drill unless you get a really big chuck and you can go and grab the shaft this way but unfortunately that's not the case. So we have to force this one in. So since we're doing it by hand we will put the grease on. Then you could do one of two things. You can either hold the shaft with a pair of pliers or since this one's already in and it's pretty much screwed all the way in basically you can use two screwdrivers that obviously fit through the, ho the hoops and you can screw it in this way And then all you need to do is adjust it with 112.5 millimeters. Let's measure it and see. Okay, see, so I screwed it in a little too far. I need to come out and maybe one turn. So we got 112.74. I think that's the best it's going to be because you can't really adjust it exactly because of the way they're going to be positioned. Again, it's one on the outside of the curve and one inserted on the inside of the curve. Yeah, so these ones have to be one upwards and one downwards. Now when you're building it, obviously you try to align it the best you can so that it's as parallel as possible. They're asking for a seven millimeter spacer, which is one of the bigger ones on this piece here.
22.28 that's as close as we're going to get in afterwards so we can get the proper length because if we put these in before then if we need to adjust then we need to do a full turn if you put them in after then you can adjust them by only half turns and you could really go and get the proper adjustment between the two wheels It's pretty much spot on. So with this particular link, you can screw it in all the way to the tabs, adjust it, and it should be fine because it's pretty much what I just did. Okay, so put the balls in on the same side at both ends. So these go through this way. With the lock nut. Now in the front they're asking you for a link that's straight and they're telling you it's 100 millimeters. So I measured and the 100 millimeter links that are left are bent this way. And they show it to you here, it looks perfectly straight. Now I know these are designed for better clearance, but they don't tell you which way to put them. Uh, my understanding is from just checking quickly is this end will go on the axle and this end will go on the chassis. You need to be careful when we put them together and observe the angles of the rod ends as well as making opposites because you can't just flip these over and put them on the other side. It won't work. So we can't make two identical ones. So we set up the ball links, we put them in both from the same side. Okay, so that one will go this way. Now we need to make one that's the opposite of it. So you can see I stopped it so that it's facing the opposite direction of the other one.
then basically you stop this screw when you feel it hit the bottom. Hmm, looks like I missed this part here. When assembling the rear lower links, make sure to put the balls on opposite sides. reason these screws are sticking out quite a bit but it does say 3 by 22 here so maybe it's something further on we'll have to see
Now, I didn't think it would take me very long to do the links. And you pretty much saw the process. It's, you know, it doesn't seem that difficult. But, you know, when you're looking at the plans and you're trying to figure out how things go, uh, and then you have to figure out how things are supposed to go because then they're not the same as the instructions, that makes it take, uh, obviously, a little bit longer. Or maybe a lot longer, depending. So, uh, again, I really hope these videos will help others uh, better understand how to put this thing together because in all honesty I think the instructions really need a rework uh, again it might just be me so uh, next up is going to be the drive shafts and the shocks uh, again I don't think the drive shafts are going to take very long to do and the shocks, well, I'm probably just going to build one on camera and the rest off camera. So I guess I'll catch you on the next page. See ya.